So this is the Sulamani Gupaya Temple. It was built in 1183 by a king whose, na whose name I think is Naripasitu. Mm. And the, the name Sulamani, it actually means small ruby. And as the legend goes, there was a tiny little ruby found underneath this temple and the king built the temple on it after having filled in the ground. Uh, so yeah, there's, there's four porches facing the, the four directions. And the one on the east is extended a little bit farther than all of the other ones, which is uh, where the inscription of the story of the small ruby is inscribed. It's pretty epic. It's not the biggest or the most uh, fanciful of all of the temples in Bagan, but I believe for my, for my money, it's definitely my favorite. I, I like this one the most. It's got the most pinnacles that I've seen so far. It's a bit like that, kind of like the pyramidal style. Uh, I like that it has several different stories. I, I like the fact that uh, of the two stories that are here, uh, they're both navigable. And I love the giant pinnacle at the top. I mean, the, I love the, the tiered cornices. And that, that's, that's what I like about um, uh, Bagan in general, really. You can look around, there's thousands, I mean, thousands of temples. I, I'm not kidding, any direction you can, you can point there's going to be a temple there in the Bagan area and not a single solitary one is like any of the other ones. They're all very unique. They're all designed individually. Uh, it doesn't matter how big or small they are. Even if they're at the four corners of another larger temple, they, they have something unique about each of them. The, the Garuda is different or the Sinte is different or there's a different Buddha. He's like seated, seated in one or, or raised in another or uh, or or there, it, one of them is more Hindu uh, influence or something. I mean, there's, there's, there's always something new and different about all of these. So um, I find that fascinating. Um, you, can look, you can look at that in two different ways, actually. You, you can say that, oh, well, there's, there's too many of them. I'll never get to see them all. Or you can say, oh, well, I can pick literally one day and go and see a section of Bagan and know for sure, without any question, that you've seen something unique that's not in any other part of Bagan, any other part of Myanmar, and indeed, any other part of the world.